Welcome to part two in the series of simple Arduino Nano model railway layout sketches. In this one, we will create a UK Pelican Crossing code. As always, to save time, I have already input the variables that I'm going to be using within the sketch. You'll notice I've declared a lot of const int and one int variable. The constant int, which are for the LEDs, are basically set up into bank one, bank two, walk one, and walk two. I also have a constant end push button and I also have three delay times which are all constant. These will never change in the code. The other one I have is the end button state and this is used to record the state of the actual button whether it has been pressed or not. Here you can see bank 1, the green LED is on pin 3, amber on 4, and red on 5. The reason the push button shows up as white here in the text is not an error, but basically the IDE knows A1 is by another number. But that is what we need. The times are all in milliseconds, so I've got one at two seconds, one at ten seconds, and one at point four of a second. These you can alter to whatever you want. The void setup is where we basically set all the output pins and input pins so here we stay basically use pin mode and for the leds it's bank one green is an output the same for amber red this is the same for all of the others using their correct variable names the difference is when we get down to pin mode push button you'll see i'm using input and a pull-up. This is using the internal pull-up resistor built into the Arduino. This will hold the input pin high so it's at 5 volts. When the button gets pressed the pin will read 0 volts. You'll also notice here that I digitally write a number of the LED to the condition I want them in on startup which is bank one green, bank two green, high, so the green LED will be on, walk one stop and walk two stop high, so the red LED for the pedestrian part will be on red. In this sketch, I basically use seven different functions which will get called from the main loop. Each function has a number of lines that has to be passed through before returning back to the main loop. So here you can see void amber. And void amber basically starts off with the first line Digital right and bank one green low, then bank two green low, bank one amber high, bank two amber high, and then uses a delay, trigger delay, which in this case is two seconds. All the other functions are very similar, so I won't explain all of them individually because they're quite straightforward. The only one that's slightly different is void amber 2 and this is where I want the amber light to flash 
to allow the pedestrians to finish crossing if the light has gone red before the driver can finally green, uh, drive up on the green LED. The void loop is very simple and has only a few lines of code which will get called. The first thing we do is button state equals digital read the push button which is in on pin A1. So the next line is if the bu button state equals low, in other words it has been pressed, I then trigger a delay. Now, I could have put the delay in the function at the top, but I prefer to have it down here on the bottom because it makes it easier to explain. So if the button has been pressed, we get a two second delay, then it will go into the amber function, which is what I explained earlier. Once it's completed the amber function, it will come down to the next line which is red safe once that function is completed it then will come down to each one and as each function gets completed eventually it will come down to the green function and once that's been executed it will go back to the top here and basically it will check to see has the button been pressed and if it has it will start again and that is the sketch completed and I will put a short video up for you to see the sketch working.